Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency and Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated new show on YouTube. Look, look, look. It's going to be drinking, smoking, and swearing. If you don't like those things, leave now because that's what's going to come. And here I come in three, two, one. Bang! Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Bang, bang, bang. We have a great show for you today. Now, we're going to talk about IOTA is being used by the city of Austin. Yes, Austin, Texas. So, Austin is a city here in Texas, in America. And, yeah, the city of Austin is going to use IOTA, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, that's a new customer for IOTA. And let's tell you, uh, having government money is way better. Well, well, let's say government contracts are way more solid than just, you know, corporate contracts. All right. Bang. Then we're going to talk about Japan. They're going to launch a digital. So, you know, Japan, they want to go cashless. Japan wants their, well, if you didn't know, let me tell you. Hi, everyone. My name's Shamari. Let me tell you something. Japan wants to go cashless, and we're going to talk to you about that. Bang! And then, oh, China is, um, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> Supporting the city of Malacca, and they're going to become a cryptocurrency city. Yep. You're only going to be able to spend cryptocurrency in this city. Like a test. And so let's see how that goes. But look, let's start how we start by this. Bang. So then we go a little bit of bang. All right. 5385. I'm not going to bullshit. I just did this, but my buddy just came. It's fucking 438 in the morning and he comes over here. Fuck. Look. Refresh. Bang. 53743 or whatever. All right. Look, look. Let's go. Yeah, it's been a hard night, brothers. I've been drinking already, watching that playoffs, and I hadn't slept yet. Look, top 10 of the day, brothers. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Tether, Stellar, and Cardano. Bang. Look, look. Let's look at the total market moves of the day, brothers. Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, to single digits down. What the fuck? Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. All right, brothers, let's look who uh, lost money today. If you see anything on here you like, buy it. All right, it's going to save you money, make you money. Bang, bang. Yes. Look, look, top 10 loser of the day. Odom, Dai, Dent, Aeon, Trust USD, USD Coin, Paxo Standard, Digibyte, Maker, and Augur. All right, let's see who made money today, brothers. I know, I didn't even take a sip of fuel. I just need some hydration. Yes, brothers, we got NBA playoffs. You know how that goes. Bang, a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, a lot of stuff. Look, top 10 of the day, brothers. Ravencoin, Bitcoin Cash, Cosmos, Horizon, Theta, Wax, Waves, Sciacoin, Inside Chain, and bang, Tezos. Yes. All right, brothers. Let's look at the total market cap of the day. Like I said, I just did this two seconds ago. <laughs> so, oh, well, I still have to report to you on what the old numbers were. So yesterday's numbers were 168.7 in market cap. Bang! We have jumped big time. We are at 170. Well, we are 175.6 when I told it to you. But right now we're 175.0. Bang! Now in total of... Total market volume, uh, yesterday we were at 45.5, today we're at 46.2. That shows me that a lot of money came into the market and stayed in the market. All right, let's see how that goes. All right, brothers, let's check it out. Bang, wait, bang, yes. IOTA, IOTA just partnered with the city of Austin, Texas to improve their transportation system. Possible adoption spread across the country, obviously. If one city uses it and it works, well, obviously the mayor of other cities are gonna look at it too. So let's take a look at it, brothers. So ATX, the official transportation body of Austin, Texas, has announced that it is partnering with the IOTA project 
with the intention of bringing innovation to the mobility industry in the state capital, which has a population of roughly 1 million people. Well, it's not a partnership, first of all. The state of Texas is paying IOTA, so it's a customer. <laughs> yes, look. And so here's their little uh, here's their little tweet from the Austin, Texas. Tweeted, "We're partnering with the nonprofit IOTA Token to bring the future of mobility to Austin. Learn all about it at a special event on Monday, April 29th at 5 p.m." Wow. Oh, that was a couple days ago. Um, ATD and IOTA leaders will make announcements. Blah blah blah. All right. Look. Oops. Sorry, there, guys. IOTA co-founder Dominic Sheener attended a special event at the University of Austin, Texas, where the announcement was made. So here's the guy right here. Bang, bang, bang. Here's the video. Now, guys, if you're really interested, um, you know that I put the links to every single website I read you in the definition, in the description of the uh, today's video. And so if you want to watch this video, watch it. Well, you can go there and watch it. That's what I mean. All right, Here's easy access, baby. Customer service, boys, look. So, not many details have been offered, but it speaks volumes about IOTA's potential that several major entities are considering employing the project's Tangle, oh, you know how I love me some Tangle, for mobility initiatives. IOTA has been making great strides in the automobile industry, a space that its ledger is particularly suited for. The project recently announced that Jaguar, oh, that's what we read yesterday, that Jaguar was testing the IOTA network and would be launching a smart wallet in the cars that would reward users for being sharing, oh, for sharing their data, not being sharing data. Um, it is also a member of the Mobility Open Blockchain Initiative, which counts uh, BMW, Ford, General Motors, Renault, and several other members. So, should efforts with Austin work well? It would not be a surprise to see IOTA spread to other cities as well. Ooh, so bang, bang, guys. Now IOTA has a city contract. Bang, a city client. Indeed, indeed. You know those government contracts are worth a lot of money. And what's good about them is they last. Because governments take so long to make decisions. <laughs> Even if one guy wants to get rid of IOTA, yeah, well, the the two parties will argue and argue and probably not come to any conclusion. Lock, lock. All right, fuck all that. We'll talk about that later. That ever happens. Look, so Japan is about to launch a digital currency without using blockchain. Now, the reason I bring this up is, I know, this isn't crypto. It's not even blockchain. <laughs> it's It's wild. But I just bring this up because, remember, guys, like, if you're new here, we read a story. It was called... Well, okay, so first of all, we read a story last year, last summer, and it was a reporter from the New York Times, and it's titled, I tried to spend my, I don't know the exact title, but it's something like this. I tried to, sp I tried to live in China for one week with just cash. If you, if you Google those words right there, you'll get two articles. One will be a CNBC article, one will be a New York Times article. So I'm talking about the New York Times article. And that, yeah, the lady at the New York Times, yeah, she tried to take a cab and pay in cash. The cab driver was like, what are you talking about, lady? I don't have change for this. Uh, they had, there's a picture, if you, if you go to the New York Times one of what I just told you. Yeah, there's a homeless man and he has a QR code beside him. Yeah, if you want to donate to him. That's how digitized China is. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is just that, yo, man, Asia is getting fully digital. Asia. So, right? Like, look at all our championship nations. Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia. Right? Like, that's a lot of Asia up in there. You know what I mean? No, you guys get what I'm trying to say, right? So I just want to bring this to you, uh, you know, just to talk about a cashless society. A cashless society is really what this is about, okay? So, check this shit out. Japan, that's the government, has released a new coin called JCoin Pay, which aims to make Japan cashless without the use of cryptocurrency. 
like, don't worry about that. We're going to make our money in our cryptocurrency. But I'm just talking about cashless society. Don't worry about the cryptocurrency part. Um, the news most likely means that crypto, yen, will not be around anytime soon. Jcoin Pay is a smartphone-based digital wallet which uses QR codes to make payments. And it does sound very much like a crypto coin. JPM coin, wait, what? JPM coin, which was revealed recently. No, I think they mean J coin was revealed recently. And there was a lot of controversy. Oh, it is JPM coin was recently was released recently. And there was a lot of controversy surrounding it as many believe that it was a fake cryptocurrency. However, the new J coin is even further away from crypto than JPM was already is. The release date of JCoin was back on March 1st, and it is the outcome of a huge partnership between 60 different banks. And that's the thing. All these banks are in on it. Um, it aimed to be a, a Japanese banks. It aimed to process all aspects of payment processes. Sorry. Yeah. Um, such as sending and receiving money um, all from one platform. Uh, Mizuho Bank is one of the many companies that are taking part in the new platform, which allows people to move money without needing to pay any fees from their account and send it to the other JCoin Pay users through either telephone numbers or using a QR code. Um, in the official reveal, it was announced that with the new JBM coin, bank digital currency platform Mizuho Bank and other participating financial institutions we we'll work together towards the Japanese government's goal of achieving a cashless society. So I bring this up for this. The Japanese government, that's what they're saying. The government's goal is what? A cashless society. A cashless, whoops. A cashless society. And so I just bring that up in that... Um, you know, you guys want, you know, um, well, the whole mass adoption thing, cryptocurrency and stuff. But I want you to remember this. Um, you know, um, these governments don't have to, you know, use a crypto. Like, I know that a bunch of you and a lot of you, and I believe in a cashless society. I That's why I brought up the article, and that's why I told you guys to read the article. We are going to get to a cashless society. But they'll just digitize U.S. dollars. They'll just dis oh, here the perfect word. They're just going to digitize fiat. Is what I think. And anyway, so I just wanted to bring that up to show you that it's actually a thing. It's actually going on. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. And blah blah blah. They just talk how uh, a blockchain isn't going to be used. Blah blah blah. But that's not the point. I bring this up to you to show that there are you know governments out there that are really going digital all right bang now let's get back to crypto and blockchain and stuff like that all right now this is a crypto company oh where's the title there we go bang china back tourist city to run completely on cryptocurrency yeah check this out yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm not drinking. I'm not fueling. I am fueled already. Yes, brothers. We had this playoffs tonight. Golden State won again. And unfortunately, my friend stuck around. <laughs> it's now 4.52 in the a.m. Well, they stuck around the whole time. So I couldn't have a sleep or anything. <gasps> oh, and I have hiccups again. Look, brothers. Bang! Malacca, a, major, a Malaysian city. I had to get rid of those hiccups. A Malaysian city backed by the Chinese government is set to turn 835 acres into the tourist blockchain destination of the future. This will see the city run completely on cryptocurrency. Oh, and they're not fucking around. If you wanna if you wanna go to this city, spend any money or hear anything, 
Yeah, yeah, you got to get this coin, so I'll show you. Malacca will run completely on blockchain technology, and payments will be done in, here it is, with DMI coin, the city's coin. Wait, why can't I bang that? All right, there we go. But yes. Look. Yeah, straight cash, homie. Wow. Not cash. Straight digital cash, homie. This will make the city the first in Asia to be run fully on the blockchain technology. According to Lim Kang, a representative of the city, they say that tourists in the city will have to exchange, will have to, do you see what it says? Will have to exchange their money. It's not, it's not like you, you have a choice. You want to visit this place? <laughs> You're going to have to spend that DMI coin. We'll have to exchange their money for digital currencies, which they can use to pay for services using phones or computers. The DMI web application will be available on PC and the mobile application will run on Android and iOS devices to provide flexibility regardless of user preferences. Malacca will, however, not be the first city to run completely on cryptocurrency. Is that so? In the past, other cities, including entire islands, have developed and tested sim similar concepts. That's the news we don't get to hear about. Some other cities around the world with a, significant, with a significant Bitcoin usability rate, including Hong Kong, Amsterdam, Buenos Aires, Toronto, Bank, hometown, TDOT, and Zug. Zug, for example, is a city in Switzerland. And though with only 30,000 residents, it is said to be one of the most technologically advanced cities in the world. Known as the Crypto Valley, Zug is the headquarters to some of the top cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum. Wow, oh, all right, didn't know that. So it was also the first city to accept cryptocurrencies for payments and taxes, all right, of taxes. Uh, Malacca being run fully on cryptocurrencies isn't much of a surprise as Malaysia has been on the forefront when it comes to regulating cryptocurrencies. Bang, what was Malaysia? Yeah, that's our first, that's our first on the, on the coveted, glorious, momentous, awesome uh, cryptocurrency blockchain news <laughs> um, list of championship nations. Yes. Malaysia was the first, so no surprise. Malacca being run fully on cryptocurrencies isn't much of a surprise as Malaysia has been on the forefront when it comes to regulating cryptocurrencies. Now, the country, for example, recently pushed forward with laws aimed at regulating ICOs and the trading cryptocurrencies in the country. Yes, well, bang, that's what we talked about. And that, so there it is. So here's an example, right? Here's one crypto, one company that 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 entered our coveted list of champions. <laughs> and bang, they're going to turn one of their whole cities, Malacca, bang, into a crypto city. You're not going to be able to do anything in that city unless you have their crypto, which is called the DMI coin. Yes, that's it. Oh, it's the city's coin. Yep. You're not going to be able to do anything without it. And so, yeah, there you go. Mass adoption lovers type thing. All right. Bang. All right. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. It's a quick show. All right. Bang. Yes. Yes. Look at the bang notifications. Let's go. What do we got? All right. What do we got here? Infinitus Tech. All right. What's Infinitus Tech saying? Is a software development company specialized in data protection security. Bang! Love you, brother. Bang! Flip to pay. BTC to USD contactless payment. Subsidiary of NASDAQ. Claim your device. Click the link. Bang! See you, brother. Binium. Love you, brother. What's Binium saying again? He said, blockchain in action. ID2020 facial recognition technology is being used with the driving license facilities in the USA. Yes, doesn't look like he likes it. Well, but I'm going to give your post a like. Bang, brother. Bin him. Hold on, you get it. Bang, see you, brother. All right. Oh, and look at home. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Ridester, see you, brother. Bang, son of a bitch. Oh, he tried to run away. Bang, bang, bang. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, Ronkaz. 
Sweetie. Bang. See you, girl. Oh, got to say the name. Blockchain Town. See you, girl. Bang. DP Entertainment. See you, brother. Bang. Edwin. Bang. See you, brother. Bang. Yes. Bitcoin Gong. Yes, he likes to show off the cars and he likes that good stuff. He's waiting for it. <laughs> Not much longer now, brother. Not much longer now. Not oh, wait, let's see his. Wait, oh, I didn't bang him. Bang. Oh, he still got the thing for us. Yes, all right. Good, good. What else we got? Oh, Benny even gave me this shit yesterday. This old lady doing the dab shit. Uh, oh, he's talking about the early stage of Belton Road. China has a regular direct freight train service to Germany, Europe's largest economy. One route links the Chinese to Duisburg, a steel-making town. Almost 80% of global trade... Hold on, just got to stop this lady. Almost 80% of global trade is shipped by boat as freight train service. Well, all right, brother. All right. But that Belt and Road thing is true. Binium always tells me about that. Bang! And look, one more. Bang! See you, uh, Hurricane Master. Bang! All right, let's get back to your wives alive. Bang! And then we go, bang! Yes. Hello, welcome. All right, guys. So we had a great show today, brothers. Quickie. This is a quickie. Bang, Iota. Come on, man. Do I have to tell you already? Having more IOTA in your where in your cryptocurrency warehouse is better than having less. <laughs> it will be. Bang! It's being used by Austin, Texas. Well, will be. We'll see how it works out. All right. Japan launches and so Japan wants a cashless society. And they're launching just this digital cash. And so I just wanted to talk about a cashlessness there on that one. That wasn't really obviously it wasn't crypto or blockchain. It literally says they're not using a blockchain. <laughs> And then finally, what is using a blockchain and what is using crypto? The city of Malacca in Malaysia is, it's going full crypto, son. You ain't got no crypto? Yeah, well, you can't live here. <laughs> Bang, brothers. All right, let's chill and kill it. Let's get you back to your wife's life. Bang, subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notifications when I do this thing. Look, look, look. I love to do this for you. My name's Shamari Clark. It's the favorite time of my day. I love doing it. Love talking money, love talking crypto. Bang, look, look. My name's Shamari Clark. Bang, I'm always on duty. Look. Over and out.